Bill, I can't believe that you made me come in on my day off because you didn't schedule E3 into the bloody rotor. All my days is E3! <laughs> yes! Hello, you're watching NNN or New Nintendo News. Uh, mm -hmm. This is a weekly gaming show where we keep you up to date with the latest, yes, the latest Nintendo gaming news. Although this week we're going to be looking at multi-format stuff because it's E3. <laughs> We've got a lot to discuss and a little time because E3 is about to kick off in literally a couple of hours. A couple of hours. Let's go. Off. We've missed the beginning of it, Bill. Thank you. Brilliant. We've missed the first day of E3, haven't we? We're just going to do a quick episode of NNN this weekend just to show you some games that I've seen online that are absolutely banging. Some of these games, let me tell you, hurry up. Where's the release date? Come out now. Where's the Nintendo Switch release? Okay, here we go. First up is a game called Loot River. The developers described this game as Tetris meets Diablo. Now, at first I was like, mm, I'm not really a Diablo fan. I, I love Tetris. Let's see what the game is about. Mm. It it's a bit of me. It's a bit of me. I want this game. So the game is launching on Xbox and PC only. Wounded. Bring it out on Switch, please. Um, but yeah, it, I mean, it's got all the usual features of a roguelike game. You know, procedural, generated levels, um, upgradable weapons, etc. Blah, 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 blah. And the graphics look like all the other roguelikes. 16-bit, pixel art. I mean, it's nothing to write home about. I, I, I do like the water effects on this game though. The water effects look pretty nice. But, the little moving platform mechanic that is integral to this game, it, it's sucking me in, it's sucking me in. You put your character on the board and you can move the platforms left, right, any direction basically. You, you need to use the platforms to maneuver against enemy attacks to avoid getting hit. I love how you can like avoid large groups of enemies by using the platforms to dodge and get out of the way, flank them. I love how one minute you're backed into a corner and nowhere else to go, enemies surrounding you. And the next minute you're playing Tetris. You're playing Tetris? It, the game looks sick. I want it, I want to see more. More gameplay please. Moving on to our next game, Evil Dead. Yes, when I've seen this trailer, yeah, I, I think they didn't announce it sometime last year. T to be honest, the announcement's kind of gone over my head. Um, but when they showed the gameplay for this game, I was impressed. Well, oh, right, I'm not gonna lie, I was a bit disappointed at the beginning. There seemed to be a massive lack of gore, creative kills. There was none of that, you know, madcap horror that Evil Dead franchise is known for. It looked, it lacked the B movie campiness that I expected to see from this game. The monsters and the ghouls look great. But but I think the melee combat might get a bit boring. I need to see some varied creative deaths, some imaginative deaths. That's what I need to see. I was excited throughout the whole trailer. I thought this was brilliant. And then at the end, they revealed it for the Nintendo Switch. Oh my God, this game's coming out on the Nintendo Switch. I want it. I mean, it's not going to look as good as this. Part of the reason why I do want this game is because it looks fantastic. It looks atmospheric. Is it going to look like that on the Switch? Probably not, but you know, that's the price I'm willing to pay. It's cool that you get to play the little demon thing that chases you through the forest. You can do that if you're a dick. Um, I like that. I think that's pretty cool. But yeah, I mean, Evil Dead. Evil Dead looks absolutely fantastic. It doesn't look absolutely fantastic. I love the Evil Dead series. They've made the game. It looks decent. I, I, I'll be possibly downloading that. And so let's stay in the horror vibe, and what else did the show? The show Back for Blood! <laughs> oh my days, Back for Blood is the sequel to Left 4 Dead 2. It's not the sequel, it's a spiritual successor. It's still made by the original developers of the Left 4 Dead team, um, so it is in good hands. I have the utmost faith that this game is going to be an absolute Anger. Oh my days, I really want this game! I rinsed Left 4 Dead on the 360. Me and my friends used to spend hours upon hours playing this game online till 5am, screaming down the house, TANK WITCH, COME AND GET ME! 
this! Like, oh, like, oh my god, it, this is one of the first co-op communication games that I ever played, that I ever got into, that I heavily got invested in, and... After Left 4 Dead 2, we never saw anything. I've been waiting for a sequel, Left 4 Dead 3, for ages. Never materialised. But now we've got Back 4 Blood. Microsoft have already announced that Back 4 Blood is going to be launching on Xbox Game Pass. Day 1 launch. I mean, I'm going to have to get an Xbox soon. If this is how Microsoft are going to carry on. I want to see what else they announce in Game Pass. Because why? If you're going to be announcing games like this on day one launch, I'm going to have to get an Xbox. Microsoft are talking about playing Xbox Game Pass in TVs, man. It's going to be everywhere. Anyway, 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 moving on. We don't have any time. On to the next game. Moving on to the next E3 conference, Devolver Digital. Oh my days now, Devolver Digital smacked their E3 conferences out of the ballpark every single year. We need a fresh perspective. Something wild, something stunning, something new but not too new, but new enough so that it seems new to those know-it-all, know-nothings in the know, you know? Monetization. As a service. See? What he said. That's gotta be the most ridiculous- Let's fucking do it. And this year was no exception. This year, Developer Digital decided to have a laugh out of games as a service, subscription models, monetization, and all that thing. So go and watch the conference if you haven't seen it. I swear down, you'll be you'll be happy with it. They published some of the franchises that I love the most. Um, Serious Sam. <laughs> Love it absolutely to death. And the Gungeon. I've rinsed countless of hours on the Switch playing that game. My friend Pedro. Brought the game. Can't play it. But my head can't multitask. The way you have to look left, right, jump, twist, slow down time. And the game looks great in action, but to play it, no, 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 no. I'm too old to play that game now. They also published the great Katana Zero, Hotline Miami, Oli Oli Oli. I've not played those games, but you know, Devolver Digital is a publisher that is always on my radar. But yeah, what did you show? What did Devolver Digital show? I don't actually know because I haven't. Got any notes. Developer did it all, did show Demon Hunter. Is it called Demon Hunter? Demon Bottle. You need to go and get there. Oh my god, no, that's what they're showing off. Oh my god, they both did it all showing off this insane game. They opened the game with, I need to find out, they opened up their conference with a a, a, a gorgeous, gorgeous um, Japanese inspired, well, it's not Japanese inspired, it's set in Japan. Um, but the graphics look amazing. One minute, I need to go and get some information. The game's called Track to Yomi. Now, this game is launching on PlayStation 5 and Xbox One Series X. Fuming. It needs to come out on Switch. But, yeah, Devolver Digital opened their conference. I love that the bottom where it said, what did it say? This game is not pre-rendered. It said something like that anyway. And then after the game started, the player was like, no, this game looks too good. This game looks like this is a CGI intro cinematic or something turns out it isn't that's how the game plays i don't know the website says as a vow to his dying master a young swordsman is sworn to protect his town and the people he loves against all threats faced with the tragedy and bound to duty the lone samurai must voyage beyond life and death to confront himself and decide his path forward this graphical style looks absolutely to die for it's it's stunning it's stunning i want this game i want this game Devolver Digital also announced a new game called Demon Throttle. Demon Throttle. I, I want this game even though it's probably just going to be a throwaway game, but it's interesting me nonetheless. Oh, and they finally, well they opened, not finally, but they opened their conference with, um... Shadow Warrior. Shadow Warrior was a game that I saw last year at E3 and it looked absolutely stunning. It looks like a crazy insane high intensity first person shooter. A great character design, colourful palette, the guns look crazy, the gameplay looks sick. But with this trailer, now the game still looks good but I can't see what the hell's going on man. I can't see anything. What's, I, can't, I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. So can we just tone down the craziness for this? when it gets released. I 
I mean, it's coming out on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Anyway, there's no Switch release now. This next game, and uh, what's it called? Vocabulantis? Vocabulantis? Bill, can you tell me if that's spelled right? Voc Vocabulantis. Vocabulantis. Vocabulantis, yeah. What the hell is this game? Oh my days! I saw the trailer for it and instantly I was like, this is witchcraft. I'm sweating so much I can't even handle it. This game is absolutely beautiful. It's a stop motion game. I, I can't even speak. Look how beautiful it looks. Look how gorgeous it looks. Stop motion is so meticulous and time consuming and painstakingly detailed that the process of making a, a, a feature length film using the stop motion process is an ordeal enough. This guy's inputting it into a game, like, I, 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 he's taking the whole process to another level and it's blowing my head off. Even if the game turns out to be substandard, I think it's like an action adventure game. I have no idea, my job was on the floor, to be honest, the whole time I was watching the video. But even if the game is just a bug standard game, I have to give this game props purely for the amount of effort that the guy has put into this game. Beautiful, this game will, it looks amazing, it looks amazing. Vocabulantis. Vocabulantis. Moving on to our next game real quick because we haven't got no time. We've got Tunic. Tunic, which is an isometric action adventure about a tiny fox in a big world. Yeah, uh, it was a real quick game. I don't even know what platform it's launching on. It reminds me of Zelda. It looks like Zelda with a wolf. Combat looks great. I like the speed to it. Tunic. I need to find out more, but I don't have any time. On to the next game. Moving on to our next game. Oh my god, so Ubisoft had their press conference last night. And one of the games that I, I really am pumped up for now is, what's it called? Re Republic Riders, yes! Oh my days! See you soon! This game reminds me of like SSX, Tricky, Side Bike, all those trick based high adrenaline games, trials and all them. Uh, this looks like it just merges all these sports games into one. Uh, the game looks a lot of fun. Doubt the online is going to be anywhere near as good on the Switch as it is on the next-gen consoles or even PS4 and Xbox One. Because you can have these mass multiplayer um, online races. It, I've seen it in the when they shown when they shown these races in the trailer last year in CGI form. I thought mm, this isn't going to translate into the game in the same way, uh, but it looks like they've managed to pull it off. These races look absolutely chaotic. I don't know how many players are playing at one time, but I uh, get me on this game. Flying in your wingsuit with the bloody jetpacks looks absolutely sick. I'm interested to see how the mountain biking handles. It looks fast, it looks insane. I was watching the trailer, I couldn't even tell where the corners were. Do you know what I mean? I know, I'll be flying off those edges when I play this game. But else did I say? The, the game just looks great. It looks great. It looks fun. It looks like a brilliant use of my time. And one of the biggest surprises of Ubisoft press conference, well it wasn't even a big surprise to be honest because somebody leaked Mario Rabbit Sparks of Hope before E3. He was leaking these announcements, someone leaked Mario vs. Rabbit four years ago on the original E3 when it got announced. Someone in Ubisoft is getting sacked mate, let me tell ya. Anyway, Ubisoft have come back with a bigger, badder, better sequel to Mario vs. Rabbids, the strategy game that's based on XCOM with a Mario coating. Now, I've got the original game, I brought the DLC pack, I absolutely love this game. To be honest, it got really hard, strategy games aren't my forte, I'm not even really into strategy games, this just sucked me in because it's, it's Mario. So, so I had to get my friend to finish it, I had to get my friend to finish this game because it got solid towards the end. I, I, I couldn't even do it. Sh strategizing is stressing me out. But I'm, I'm gonna get this one, I'm gonna get the sequel, I'm gonna get the sequel. Uh, so yeah, Ubisoft announced uh, Rayman plus Rabbid, Sparks of Hope, yesterday. Shout out to Rabbid Luma. Oh my days, when I saw Rabbid Luma, I lost my bloody mind, mate. Rabbid Luma looks sick. I love the Rabbid designs of all the Mario characters. Rabbid Rosalina, oh my days. When she got called into action, she was just like, Ugh. Right, come on then, let's go. Oh. 
loved it, I loved it. Ubisoft brings so much character to this entire franchise, it, it's sick. I'm very excited for it. Looking at the trailer, it looks like Mario can do wheel now. Mario never was able to do that before, so I'm excited there. Pop, 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 pop. Obviously, we've got your playable loomers, it looks like. It looks like the loomers kind of will have different attributes and qualities and strengths and stuff like that. What is Rabbit Rosalina's new weapon all about? This little soft plush. Lumatai? What is that? It looks like that when you come onto the battle map now and you're actually fighting the enemies on the grid, it's not grid based anymore, it looks like you can just run around in a space, so how that's going to affect the gameplay and your positioning, because that's what a big part of it was about in the first game, I'm very excited to see what Ubisoft are going to do with this game. Get it out now please. That was the highlight of the show for me. That's the highlight of E3 so far, that cinematic intro. God, Nintendo just give Ubisoft the map. Well, you're doing it. You're giving Ubisoft the Mario IP and they're making what they want. But if I can just get more of the Mario universe on screen in different ways, I'd, 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 I'd be happy with that. So yeah, yeah, that's a quick rundown of all the games that I've seen so far that I'm personally liking from E3. But yeah, just taking a quick look at the three E3 conferences that are left for the week, uh, we have Capcom, yes. Uh, Capcom have announced that they will be just showing Monster Hunter, Resident Evil Village, Monster Hunter Stories and Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney footage. No, dry Capcom, give us some surprises please. Where is the Resident Evil 4 remake? I would like to see that. Talking of Resident Evil, where's the exclusive Nintendo Switch Resident Evil that I've been asking for? Can you announce that please? I know we're going to get an exclusive PlayStation 5 game of some sort, so that's definitely going to be announced, but I mean, surely Capcom, you have to talk about more games than these four. Do you know what I mean? Really? Really? You've got to give us something new. Throwing out a crazy one there, if you'd like to bring us back Power Stone. The Power Stone. Absolutely love that. So if you want to give us a power stone on the Nintendo Switch, Capcom, yeah? Love you long time. Oh, Street Fighter. Give us a Street Fighter. But yes, that's all we've got time for today. It was just literally a quick show. I just want to show you these real quick games. We're going to death with them at some point next week. Once all E3 is blown over and we can dissect into it. But to be honest, I'm going to be back when Nintendo's doing their conference. Yeah. Reactions for that one. We should do a prediction video as well. Bill, should we do a prediction video? Yeah. Hey, that's what we've got time for this week. I'm going to watch Microsoft Conference now because it, it's, it's on. It's on. But by the time this episode probably gets uploaded, it would have finished. Bill, you really need to start your own. It's hot in here as well.